Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will continue discuss sub clauses 8.1, repairs and alterations, and highlight important information contained sub clauses 8.1. Preheat or controlled deposition welding CDW methods as alternatives to PWHT. Preheat and CDW may be used in lieu of PWHT where PWHT is inadvisable or mechanically unnecessary. Prior to using any alternative method, a metallurgical review conducted by an engineer shall be performed to assure the proposed alternative is suitable for the application. The inspector is responsible for verifying that the methods used are in accordance with owner user specification and the requirements of this section. Method Preheating method Used if Notch toughness testing not required The materials shall be limited to P1, groups 1, 2, and 3 and to P3, groups 1 and 2 excluding MN Mo steels in group 2 the, the welding shall be limited to SMAW, GMAW and GTAW processes. Minimum preheat temperature 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius. Maximum interpass temperature 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 315 degrees Celsius. The minimum preheat and maximum interpass temperatures maintained at a distance of 4 inches or 4 times the depth of the repair weld, whichever is greater on each side of the joint. Method CDW method Used if notch toughness testing required. The materials shall be limited to P1, P3 and P4 steels. The minimum preheat and maximum interpass temperatures need only be maintained at a distance, same as preheating method. Minimum preheat temperature and maximum interpass temperature as specified in WPS. The minimum preheat and maximum interpass temperatures need only be maintained at a distance, same as preheating method. The CDW method may be used in lieu of PWHT in accordance with the following. The test material for the welding procedure qualification shall be of the same material specification as the original material specification for the repair. Strength of test material not lower than repaired material or have a carbon content of more than 0.35%. If impact tests required, the PQR shall have sufficient tests. If special hardness limits are necessary, the PQR shall include hardness tests as well. Welding process use only electrodes and filler metals, 
that are classified by the filler metal specification with an optional supplemental diffusible hydrogen designator of H8 or lower. The controlled deposition welding CDW technique is temper bead or half bead technique. As illustrated in the figure, as example of half bead technique. As illustrated in the figure, as example of temper bead technique. When shielding gases are used, the gas dew point no higher than minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 50 degrees Celsius. For SMAW after welding and before cool below preheat temperature weldment, shall be raised to a temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 260 degrees Celsius plus or minus 30 degrees Celsius, for at least two hour. To assist out gassing diffusion of any weld metal hydrogen picked up during welding. This treatment may be omitted, provided the electrode used is classified, by the filler metal specification with an optional supplemental diffusible hydrogen designator, of H4 such as E7018H4. After the finished repair weld has cooled, the final temper bead reinforcement layer shall be removed leaving the weld substantially flush with the surface of the base material. The WPS defines minimum preheat temperature and maximum interpass temperature and PWHT requirements. The qualification thickness for the test plates and repair grooves shall be in accordance with table. Example when qualifying a welding procedure for repairing an ASMESA 516 grade 70 pressure vessel shell by using controlled deposition welding in lieu of PWHT, with a test coupon thickness T equals 1.75 inch, and the depth of test groove welded T equals 0.75 inch, what is the thickness of base metal qualified? Solution example The given information Test coupon thickness T equals 1.75 inch Depth of test groove welded T equals 0.75 inch Task Thickness of base metal qualified Solution As per given information and table Thickness of base metal qualified to be less than test coupon thickness T. So, the answer is B 1.5 in. Review questions Question number 1 Regarding preheating Preheat temperatures used in making welding repairs shall be in accordance with the applicable code and qualified welding procedure, and the inspector should assure that. Answer is A.
Question number two. When qualifying a welding procedure for repairing an ASMESA 516 grade 70 pressure vessel shell by using controlled deposition welding, in lieu of PWHT, with a test coupon thickness equals 3.5 inches, and the depth of test groove welded equals 0.75 inches, what is the thickness of base metal qualified? Answer is C. Question number three. Local PWHT is substituted for 360 degree banding on local repairs in a pressure vessel required that procedure be developed by. Answer is A. Question number four. When PWHT is performed for environmental assisted cracking resistance, local PWHT may be substituted for 360 degree banding on local repairs on all materials, provided that Answer is D. Question number five. Regarding PWHT. Local PWHT may be substituted for 360 degree banding on local repairs on all materials. Provided that the following precaution is taken regarding preheating. Answer is B. Question number six. Unit upgrade require adding two NPS2 nozzles to a pressure vessel. The vessel was originally fabricated from an SA387 grade 22 P5A material of 0.699 inch thick plate. Which of the following statements apply to the heat treatment of this work? Answer is C. Question number seven. The SMAW process is used to perform controlled deposition welded repairs to a vessel that originally received PWHT. At what temperature must the weld area be maintained? Answer is D. Question number eight. Which of these is correct regarding preheating method temps to be maintained as specified in a WPS? When preheating is used as an alternative in lieu of PWHT. Answer is B. Question number nine. Controlled deposition welding CDW, may be used in lieu of PWHT when notch toughness is not required in. Answer is A.
Question number 10. During controlled deposition welding CDW, the preheat temperature shall be checked to assure that on each side of the weld joint will be maintained at the minimum temperature during welding. Answer is A. Question number 11. Which of these electrodes may eliminate the need for hydrogen bake-out post-weld treatments SMAW process? If controlled deposition welding is done in lieu of PWHT. Answer is C. Question number 12. During repairs, material required for Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.